Hello, my name's Charles. Welcome to CBIT. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Unicenter OPOS on multiple machines. To set up Unicenter OPOS on multiple machines, you need to have got it installed already on one machine. If you haven't done this already, then please look up our previous videos on how to install and set up Unicenter OPOS. I'll put a link to the video at the top of the screen and I'll also link it in the notes below. On our machine, we have already got Unicenter OPOS installed and we have got, let me just go in, we've got the database set up. It does work. It is working. Um, and we can see that at the moment we've got two items in here, free line entry and a service charge. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to just add in a quick um, item just so that we know that we're working on the database. And Okay, so I've just created a quick item called test one. And uh, let's just save that and then go back to our sales. We'll see we've got our test one item here. What we now need to do is we need to jump over onto tilde two and get that configured so we can see what's happening. So I'm on tilde two now, as you can see, I've got the name down here. You need to install from the main installation Java and you need to configure that the same way as you do on the other machine. So you need to take out the um, issues with the ciphers which I've, I've we've got Java installed on this machine but I've not made the change to that so I'm just going to quickly make a change to that now. So I've just got to run Notepad as administrator and then we go to the location, which is Pokemon Files, Java, no, the lib, security, and we change it to all files and we need to open up the java.security file. This is all in the original install guide video which we've already done. And you can then search or you can just scroll down until you find the item for the disabled algorithms. Here we go. So it's yeah, jdk.tls.disabled algorithms. We need to take out TLS v1 and 1.1. Take those out. Save it. And we can close it all down. We then now need to install Unicenter OPOS. As you did on the original install. Select the correct language. Select Java because we've already got that set up and we just click next, 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 next and let it install. While that's installing, we'll just pop back to till one. On till one, we need to make sure that our firewall is set up correctly. So just to double check that, if we go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security or whatever firewall software which you've got configured on your machine, you need to check the inbound rules to make sure that port, in our case 3306, which is the port we're using for the MySQL, is allowed. So on all profiles, yes, it is allowed. That's not there, you need to put that in. 
Okay, we've now completed the install on till two. So then we just run it. It'll come up with the same issue that it had before on till one, saying that there's no database because we need to get that configured. We'll just click OK to the error and OK again. That'll open up the configuration folder. We go to database setup. And what you need to do is you need to change this part of the URL to the IP address of the other machine. So I would recommend giving them more static IPs. Then change the username to the username which you set up and the password which you set up. We then click connect. We are connected. We then just need to say which database within the MySQL we want, which is the Unicenter OPOS. Click set, click save, and click OK, and we can restart. Unicenter OPOS. Just open it back up. We've got to allow the firewall. And if I log in here, you see we've got this um, previous tickets already set up from the other till. So I'm just going to come off that. And as you can see, we've got test one. I am going to add a second item in. I'm just going to call it test two. I'm going to just save that. We can see that down here. So it's still trying to tell me that I've, we've got an open ticket, which is on the other till. So I can either bring that one up or I can close it down. Uh, because I haven't set up any other users yet, it still thinks it's the same user. But we've got test two on till two. Just going to pop over to till one. And I'm just going to log in as employee, so it's different. And just so that you can, sh I can prove that it is till one. We've got till one here, and we've got the test two item. So both tills are up and running on using the same database. Okay, to use multiple tills like this, I would make sure that you set up your users properly. Oh, I can't do that because I've signed in as employee. Let me just flip over to the other screen. Make sure you set up your own user because a user can be using one till. They can then log into the other till and it'll pull through their current order, which they're working on. So example, if they're working in a bar and they're at one end of the bar dealing with an order, they can put it on. Then they get moved down to the other end of the bar and they've got another till. They carry on working on that order. They can just log in and they can bring up that current order. And then somebody else logs in and it's not going to affect what they're doing. So it's a very brief overview on how to set up multiple tills within Unicenter OPOS. If you like this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notification for upcoming videos. And why don't you send us a comment on the video to say what you like or what you didn't like about the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. See you next time.